Oh, it is hardy gin. It's hard and hot at the same time. That came out wrong. He hits hard is what I wanted to say. He hits hard and is hot at the same time. Don't tell my mom I said this. What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Max Malone. Thank you all so very freaking much for tuning in. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Money is over. You did it. Now that it's a straight line ahead. Straight line to Friday. <laughs> so thank you all so very freaking much. As the making of this video, we are 30 people away from the 15,300. So the chance that we are there as you're watching the video are very high as things are going right now. So from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank each and every one of you. And if we haven't reached it, well, just forget what I said and let's go on with the show and not with the yammering. Let's get into the Is It Agro Hammering. This is a deck that I tried to make sin work since day one. And as we are in Mythic right now, I thought, you know what? Let's try again. Let us just go ahead and try freaking again. This deck, oh my lord, it is when it pops off, it pops off hard. It is a kind of a little glass cannony because they really like have an answer to everything you have. Well, you have not really much ways to like, you know, come back. But but, and that is a big but, just with the burn that we have, this is 12 damage, this is another 8 damage, so only with the burn, we will already be able to burn our opponents down to well a crisp. And we have even more answers in the deck. Like, we're playing 2 Ledger Shredders, just in case, but we also have 4 Electrostatic Infantry. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you put a 1-1 counter on the infantry. And that is just super good, because that's trample. So that means, after 2 turns, you're even a little bit too big for a cutdown. That means if you play the inf uh, infantry, now you're protected with the make disappear or the shore up or even maybe the fading hope, I don't know. The turn afterwards is if they don't want to cut it down, you just shoot them in the face with a play with fire. You know, just do that and they're done so. So this also deck where the ancestral anger has a place. Finally a deck. Target creature gains trample and gets plus X plus O where X is the one plus a number of cards named Ancestral Anger in the graveyard. That means if you have all four of them, the creature gets plus five plus oh until end of turn. And that is just insanely freaking good. So, and you draw a card, which is also super important in here, because apart from the consider and the impulse, we don't really have card draw in the deck, even though we're playing blue, but the impulse is just super good. Because you look at the top four cards and you choose one of them to put in your hand. And looking at the top four cards is insanely good. So there's kind of a memory deluge light. You know, it only costs half, but you only get half of the cards, and you only get to do it once, not for seven mana later. So, but if you play it right, on turn three to four, you can bring down this naughty gin. Mm -mm, look at those muscles. I mean, hey, <laughs> the hair, the hair is a little hot topic, but you know, that is, I, I mean, who am I to tell people about their hair cut, you know? I don't even know how to cut hair. So, here's a zero four, but... His power is equal to the number of instant and sorcery cards in your graveyard. So kind of like a Drake, you know, one of these Drakes that we had in uh, in Ixalan, I was about to say. Um, one of those Drakes we had in the Guilds of Ravnica block, you know, that was like crazy. And those cost four. Yes, they drew you a card, but they didn't discount your spells. So this Naughty Jin is very darn freaking insane. Because yeah, even as 0-4, it's still alright, you know, it has like blocking abilities and most things cannot surpass it but if you have like two to four, uh, three to four instant and sorcery spells in your graveyard which you absolutely do want to have it gets bigger and freaking bigger and that is why we have four of those because it's only our only three drop and uh, for the rest we almost exclusively only have one and two drops so what are the other creatures that we have well we have two pile more battle mage capitano this bird wizard gives all of your creatures plus one plus oh and trample on the end of turn for each incident sorcery spell that you cast. That means if this is out and your last ecstatic infantry is out, now it does not only get a counter, but it also gets plus one plus oh until end of turn. And you know, given these, trample is pretty good because if they do have flyers and you give it trample and you don't have your ancestral anger out, that is something really darn amazing. Because if this is an 8-4 and you get in there with a 9-4 now and whatever spell you played now, it's a 10-4 because you played another spell, you made this one bigger. 
That is a lot of craziness. So this is kind of an aggro tempo list because we also have fading hopes to get rid of their stuff on the battlefield. We we'll shore up to protect our stuff. You know, you need to make certain that you use your spells wisely. And if for some reason you didn't use them wisely, we have two leers in here to just play them all over again. And as they're so super cheap, once you have these creatures out and a leer, and you have a lot of spells in your graveyard already, oh my sweet lord, you will be so freaking annoying to our opponent. Uh, also, we don't have all the lands. So this is 6, 12, 16, plus 1 to... Wait, am I, am I bad at math? So, this is 22 lands. 23? I have to double check. It's 22 lands. We're only playing 22 lands. <laughs> I don't know why I wasn't able to count it. This Soken Sun threw me off, man. It threw me off. So we have the Otawara here to return something to their hand. With this, we can return whatever. If they have an enchantment to, uh, to get our, you know, Master of Monomath once more here. Uh, if they have an enchantment to uh, exile one of our creatures, now we can get it back end of their turn. And, you know, slam in with our creature afterwards. Soken Sun can be that last bit of damage that you need. It can be a nice little blocker as we try to get in there for as much damage as we can. That might be very much needed. Make disappear our counter spell of choice. After turn two, it's not that needed anymore, but if we have it, not even half that bad. So, draw cards with these and this, of course. Uh, protect your creatures with this, this and this, you know, very darn nice. Destroy their creatures with lightning strikes and play with fires, but if you can, just shoot it to their face and, you know, pump your creatures into freaking oblivion. And once you're done, just do it all over again. So yeah, land-wise, we do have the six islands, very beautiful islands, six very beautiful mountains, the two Ottawara and Sokansan together, two of them together, you know. For Shivan Reef, I know it deals damage, but it's totally worth it. So on turn one, you can play whatever you want from these. And we have a storm carved coast in here because it is just so my damn good in here. All right. So I've just eaten, can you tell? All of my energy get from my head into my stomach just to get this little mmm in here, you know? Just get it all mmm. All right, I cannot talk anymore. And that is why I will stop to talk now. So thank you all so very freaking much. I hope you will enjoy the lightning fast deck. I'm Max Malone, and I will see you in those naughty games. As you can see, we are in Mythic, but not in the good numbers. We need to get there. Alright, I like this hand, I really do. We do have the Ancestral Anger. We do have the Consider here. Oh, there's no need for us to shock ourselves. Let's act like we're the Mono Blue Tempo list. People hate that. <laughs> oh, it's Mono Black. People hate that. <laughs> oh no. Oh my lord, yeah. i rather find something other here. Well, the Impulse is nice. They could take the impulse here if they want to. The rest. Turn one, the rest. What is this? Thoughtsies? Yeah. <laughs> it's not. It is not. Did this get a re when did this get a reprint? I don't even know. I don't even freaking know. Alright, we're chilling. There's no need to, you know, bring this one down and just have it dying. I don't like that. I really don't. Okay. Are we shocking their face? I don't think we are. We're keeping this. We're freaking keeping this. So, if they want to bring down the Liliana here, that is fine. I can just, you know, Fading Hope that sucker and be happy about it. I can also, like, play with fire here. You know, all of the Shubwang. So, we will see what they're doing. They're doing nothing. Okay, all right. I like that. We're also doing nothing. Let's bring down the Ancestral Anger here. They don't have anything. That's nice. I like it. So we're getting in there for three. Now if we do have something, we still have answers, you know? If they play a Sheldred here, we can just Fading Hope it. So we will see if they play a Sheldred here. I mean, the chances are high, you know? They could also have like a Sorin or a Meat Hook Massacre, but now it doesn't look that appealing anymore. It does now, my friend. Mr. I can't read your name. They play a Meat Hook Massacre. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. You play that Meat Hook Massacre, my friend. Maybe we even get him here? Maybe? There's a chance, question mark? I mean, let me see. That is three. This now is how much? Drawing a card here. It ain't enough. By far it ain't freaking enough. But let's go with the impulse here. Try to find something amazing. Like to shore up. 
That is indeed pretty amazing. Does this finish the job? It doesn't, but the shore up is pretty good. So let's keep it here. Slam in for seven. Take our safe damage here. We still have a long way to go, but next turn we can get him. The shore up here is just insanely good. The invoke despair, eh? Yeah, let's shoot him in the face then. Okay, that's pretty good. That is indeed pretty good. So we're playing our electrostatic infantry here. We're going back to nine. Okay. We're still playing it, sucker. All the damage we got was only from our shooting reefs. That is amazing. <laughs> that is actually amazing. All right. But if they do have something, we still have to shore up, you know? And we will see what they get here. And come on, man. Come on, really? Another invoke despair? Okay, I mean, hey, that's just how the game works nowadays. That is just what it is. People just getting a bajillion invoke freaking despairs in hand. Okay, maybe we can get him this time? Who knows? Who freaking knows? Or do they find a third Invoke Despair? Nope, it's just an Enrico Domnati. Alright, before they can even do anything, stop before combat. We're shooting it. Do you have something? You know, the thing is, they could have just uh, make a sacrifice here. So that's why I did it. Graveyard Trespass, that ain't enough. That just ended up, we got him! Oh, Mono Black, get out of here, man! Get freaking out of here! So, we are attacking in. We're even, like, going down to one here. Beautiful. Freaking beautiful. Yeah, if there was even, like, a Leer now, that would have, like, sealed the deal. Get freaking out of here, Mono freaking Black! Oh! Oh! And a shore up, just because we can. Just because we can! Oh! Get the damage, my friend! Is it aggro? Is it in the house? Is it? It is! Get out of here, Mono Black! Get out of here! That was nice, I liked it a lot, I have to say. We're up against number 230. 38, okay, but it's almost 40, you know? Top 240. We're going first. This hand is bad. This hand is better. Um. I, of course, we'll get rid of the Leer here. And there's no need to shock us right away. Or is there not? There ain't. There ain't no, no reason to do so. Neon so ever. But us going first, I like that a lot. So acting like we're the mono blue temple, this is always good. It's another mono black. Okay, that is amazing. Yeah, I kind of want that. Alright, we're chilling now. We're just freaking chilling now. Doing nothing. I want a land drop here. Why do they no land drop? Sadly, I have to throw away a lightning strike. Well, that is a land drop, though. Okay, all right. If they do have a Liliana here, it will utterly freaking get annihilated. All right, I think shooting their face is not even half that bad. Not even half that freaking bad. Land? Land. Beautiful. Freaking beautiful. Okay, so no matter what they do here, we do have the Hardy on, the, on our side now. And we can just make disappear whatever they do, you know? In front of grass, make disappear. If they have a Liliana here for that, that would be very sad. Very darn freaking sad. So, do they have a Liliana now? I mean, if they do, we, like, lose here on the spot. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> Not gonna freaking lie. I mean, our Tesla Anger is looking pretty darn good here, you know? Not, Not even half that bad. The Infernal Grasp, man. That is such a good card. Like, way better removal in my eyes than the Cutdown, you know? Way better. Okay, they don't have anything here. I like it. Bringing down the Ancestral Anger. Drawing a card. Fading Hope now. That is a uh, meowsing. Wait. Let's play the land here, not shock ourselves. There's literally no reason to do so. Please give me something to wor worth my while. This is indeed worth my while. Okay. Um, yeah, i rather protect my hardy gen here. I'd rather do that, you know. And keep chilling. Like to play with fire can be used later. And they scoop! Oh, this hardy gen is hard and hot at the same time. 
That came out wrong. He hits hard is what I wanted to say. He hits hard and is hot at the same time. <gasps> Don't tell my mom I said this. Jacko the Attacko. That's a cool name. <laughs> I like this hand. I really do. Like, we do have stuff for the early game. We do have stuff for a little bit later. We have ancestral anger. That is always, like, very good for us. Oh, my lord. Yes, please. Yes, please. So, we're up against Boros. Oh, my. We're not up against Boros. Okay. Let's bring down the haughty gen here. Making our spells a little less expensive. Like, right now, he's a 0-4, but hey, that is still something, you know? And if they play a Liliana here, we can still protect our stuff. They don't play a Liliana here. Okay, alrighty. Another Ancestral Anger. Well, that didn't help us at all, but now we at least have something to protect our creatures if we really need it. Like, another Red Source would be insanely freaking good here. Well, that doesn't help me at all, does it now? Red source, come on! Come on, red source! Well, there it is! There is a red source now! That is just freaking beautiful! Okay. So, I mean, hey, we're being just super aggressive here. Now we even get this. That is so good. Are we getting rid of another hot gen? I think. We are. The Leer might just be super good for us, you know? Just be super darn good for us. Wandering Emperor? Yup, okay. Which one don't you like, my friend? Which one is it? I've this one? Alright. Well, I mean, hey, you know, that is still fine with me. Uh, the impulse, yes, please. Yes, freaking please. Okay, we're still getting in it for four, you know? We're, we're still doing it. Do we have enough? Five plus three is eight. It ain't enough yet. But we're getting there. Oh, wait, it is enough. It is enough! Oh my lord! <laughs> we do have lethal here! Now we 1 million percent do have lethal here! Oh god! Oh, this deck is so nasty, man! This deck is so darn nasty! Oh, get out of here, man! I could have also destroyed the Wandering Emperor just out of pure spite! Oh, that's nasty, man! Get out of here! Oh my lord! 838 just like that you know we were in the 1300 something and now we're in the 838 this deck is so nasty animal control called me for animal cruelty man what does that mean it doesn't even matter it just sounds good get out of here i cannot believe this like in play testing the deck was like okay but it never performed like this so i'm very happy i'm very happy that it does Alright, we do have a nice little hand here. I uh, will be going with my Ledger Shredder first. Once more, let's act like we're the Mono Blue Temple list. That is always a good thing to do. And I hope we find one more land. Oh, they are the Mono Blue Temple list. They are. Okay. Ledger Shredder, you're up. Yep, they are. Oh my lord, this list is also so dirty, man. So freaking dirty. So a freaking dirty. Which one do I like least? I think it is this one. There's one make disappear. Okay. They want to return my ledger shredder to my hand. That is also fine by me. Here comes another counter spell now. Yeah, you wait. Yep. Okay, alrighty. Let's shoot him in the face now. And get rid of our land. Nah. I think it is the shore up. Well, there is another one right away. <laughs> that is nice. Thank you very freaking much. Okay. So, this list is super nasty. You really need to play around every single counter spell that you can get. Every single freaking one. Play the impulse here. They do have another counter spell, so freaking be it, you know? And. The play with fire is very darn nice here. 
We are attacking in. They're not even blocking woods. We just need to be faster than they are, right? I think we do. Guess I want that consider. I mean, hey, if these are all counter spells, we're kinda screwed, you know? Well, if they aren't, they are now, you know? <laughs> But our Ledger Shredder is also getting a little bit bigger here. So that's also pretty darn good. And we might also bring down our Haughty Jin here. Because he is indeed a Haughty. They are attacking in. That is bananas to me. I mean, right now they're winning the race, you know? That is why. We're trying to bring down the Haughty Jin here. If they do have a counter spell here, they're going to play it. Make this appear. Okay, that is, you know, something that I kind of had to expect here. Once more, this list is super nasty. If they get rolling, they get rolling, you know? Nothing you can do about it. We're cycling through lands now, aren't we? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Oh my lord. Two or three more turns and we're done, so. Yeah, 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 I don't feel good about this. I, I don't feel good about it at all. Because, you know, they, they, they went ham from the start. They went ham from the start. And, uh... We did not protect our Ledger Shredder, did we now? No, we didn't. No, we didn't. We did not protect it. But we will do our darndest here now. Protecting it, you know. We might be dead if they do have the right tanks in hand. We just might be freaking dead. Yeah, the leader is not that useful anymore, is it not? Oh, it would have been super useful. Would have been super useful. Oh my lord, it would have been so useful. Yeah, yeah, good game. There is no way we can make a comeback here. Good game. I mean, hey, I mean, hey, Lear, we couldn't even have played it, you know? We could not have even played it. So don't at me, my friends. Don't at me. This list that CGB built here, I might say that this is the best deck that CGB has ever built. This is so consistent, man. It is so nasty. Mmm. We're up against Alpha Net. It is the first net there ever was. Opponent's going first. Do I like this hand? I do like this hand. The impulse will help us find things. The Shivan Reef, with that, we can play our electrostatic pummeler right away. Uh, infantry right away. Electrostatic company. <laughs> oh, they have an answer, don't they? They have an answer, don't they? Yep, okay. Well, I mean, it's just what it is. Is this like the, um... Do they play red now? No, they don't, okay. Copiary Stomper. All right, all right. That is still all right. Playing our Haughty Jin here. Or are we? They do have another removal, I will be sad about it, you know? And the chances that they do have another removal are pretty darn high. So let's find a way to protect our haughty Jin here first. Bank Buster. Okay, that ain't no uh, removal spell yet. Well, there is nothing to remove here, so why should they play it? They didn't find a land here. That is good. That is real good, because that Topiary Stomper can get out of control real freaking quick. Uh, the Make Disappear is insanely good here. Insanely good. All right. Let's bring... Cancel. Why are you doing it like this, game? I need to keep up my make disappear. I really have to. Because if they're missing more land drops, this make disappear would be darn freaking good. Darn freaking good. Okay, they do have an answer here for it right away. Let's search with the impulse here. We still have the Balmore Battle Mage, you know, that is at least something. But that they really had more of these, that was a little unexpected, not gonna lie. I thought that they had no more removal. Especially the Infernal Grasp here, that was nasty. That was freaking nasty. Alright. 
The Baltimore Battle Mage comes up. Okay. We're still trying here. Do they still have another removal? The cut down. We're trying, my friends. We're freaking trying. We need to survive somehow. You know is what I'm saying here. <laughs> we kind of need to survive somehow. And uh, I really want to, you know, survive somehow. Come on, man. What you? What do you not have? Like, is there anything you don't have? Is there any card you don't... Like, what is this, man? Mono removal? Yeah, it sure feels like it. Sure freaking feels like it. So we have to go in with our last ditch effort here. That is our last ditch effort. If they do have something here, hey. Against mono removal, there's nothing you can do. The war chief now. Okay. All right. So they got us. Is that what you're saying? They freaking got us. That is what you're saying. Oh, come on. That is... The heck, man. The freaking heck, man. Come on. That was just... Get, get out of here, game, man. They had nothing but a topiary stomper. These two cards and the rest was nothing but removal. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? They had two cutdowns, two infernal grass, and the invoke despair. Come on, man. First 18 and all cup. Get get out of here, game. Get out of here. You know there's a limit to what I'm willing to accept. <laughs> Dead <laughs> certainly has gone way over the limit. Way over it, you know, all the removal and all the big creatures to make sure that they can, you know, that is a little, that is a little, like, you know, condescending from the game. Again, no creatures in hand? All right. Okay. Well, in that case, we can't get rid of this, but I don't want to mulligan down even more here, you know? That feels just freaking bad. I, I feel scammed here, man. I feel totally freaking scammed here. What are you playing? The direct. Okay. Yeah, that is, that is nice. That is really nice. Holy freaking smokes, man. That player just now, I mean, that is how you get in the top 500, you know? That is how you do it. That is just how you freaking do it. Just, you know, have all the removal in the early game. Why the heck not? Why the frick? Oh, there are angels. Okay. Well, I want that 1 million percent, though. I'm flabbergasted, man. Flabbergasted is what I am. Wait, there's no reason to use our uh, life total here. Okay. Do you have... Come on. Please don't tell me that everybody has an answer for our stuff right away. They do. They do have it. I don't think they're reading the card. I think they have a removal here. We finally found... Soul levels are rising. What you got here, my friend? What have you got here, my friend? The Giada, that is still okay. I can accept that. I totally can. Do you think they have the shield thingy? Well, we'll have to find out, don't we? The Hodigen, like, what is with the lands, by the way? Like, seriously. There's one, two, three, four, five, six in the first eleven. And then there's still two more here. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> I really don't like that at all. Okay. I do have something. If that is the shield thing now. Yeah, I missed out on one damage here. I know, I know. But getting rid of the Giada here is highest priority, man. Highest freaking priority ever. So, we're on six lands, there were two more, that means that we should... And there were two here as well, three here. Yeah, we have looked at a lot of lands, my friends. A lot of lands, my friends. I'm sorry, I'm still salty about that last game. That was just freaking disgusting. Just freaking disgusting, man. Well, let's hope that we find something amazing here. The Fading Hope is pretty good, I like it, I have to say. I'm keeping up my Fading Hope, uh, my, my Sokinsani, uh, my, my Otawara here. It costs four still, but that is all right. I can return that, you know. Another Giada. Okay. All right.
do I care about that at all? I do not. Well, especially now, you know, that <laughs> I got to play with fire. <laughs> that is good. I like it. I really do. And uh, we are slamming in there. We're keeping up our tempo cards, you know, like the Fading Hope, like the Otawara. Those are very darn important here in this matchup right now. Because if they ever bring down the Lisa, we kind of screwed. Okay, I like this. We could also go Otawara, get our inf electrostatic infantry back. Uh, that would also be something that I like. The Sarah Paragorn. Okay, are you attacking in, though? Are you attacking in? You are. The Mad Lad. Sarah Paragon, you need to go. Another Electrostatic, that is super good. Now, we cannot use the Otawara here right away. But we can do it next turn, and that is also pretty darn tasty. Oh, they know about it. Maybe I should have used that one instead. There it is, the Liza. There is the Liza. Okay. All right, we are returning the Liza to their hand. And slamming in there. They need to block. I mean, hey, you know, lightning strike and we're good. Just one little lightning strike and we're freaking good. If they do have another borrow time or something like that, we're looking pretty bad. How many lightning strikes? There's one in here and there's none there. So the chance to find a lightning strike are not zero, you know? That is already pretty good. Pretty darn freaking good. I still feel like we did play it right here. Like once more, maybe we should have... Okay. Why are you doing that? Do you have another land? Do you have another freaking land in hand? Do you know, my friend? Do you? I mean, all I need is one spell, you know, and we can slam there with... Slam through with a freaking trample. Need one land here to play something else, and we only need one instant or sorcery. Are you kidding me? No, man, not like this. Oh, gosh. Okay. I mean, hey, you know, that is at least something. And uh, as I know them, they will be like playing something here. Or the Liza maybe directly, I don't know. Oh, that is not enough. This only gives plus one. The Giada. Are you attacking in though? Are you now? Well, I mean, in that case, let's return to Paragon. Oh my god. Is this enough? They did not block! Oh, we got him! Oh, they did not block! Oh, what have you done, Varus? What have you done? Mm. Oh, baby! Never give up! Never surrender! All the life gained in the world could not save you! From is it aggro, man? Oh my lord. They really, they really went strong here, man. The double duress, you know, the march of the otherworldly light. They they get rid of, they had the life gain here. And we got it with one play with fire. Oh, oh, I'm so happy that they did not block here. Otherwise, the game would have been darn freaking over. Well, we had another play with fire on the top. We did not know about that. But you know, it was pretty darn tasty. Mm -mm. Who would have thought that when Jins and Dwarves unite, <laughs> nastiness arises. We're up against Nil Rack. Opponent's going for... That is, like, what is this one-hand land? What is this? Alright, this is way better. Uh, yeah, we're keeping it like this. Opponent going first, I do not like it too much. Is it another angel stack? Is it now? Well, we will see. If I draw another land here, I will keep the ledger shredder. If I don't draw another land here... Oh, it is! Kinda. So let's keep our hand like this. Maybe we need to get, get, get rid of this Alice Ill Core. There's a high chance we have to. The Anointed Peacekeeper. That is indeed something. Better getting rid of our Jin. The Jin is like very, very naughty for them. Very naughty. They will not like it. 
Fading hope? Okay, alright. Well, I mean, hey, I don't know, maybe we take the land? Maybe we do take the land? <laughs> the hack game. The freaking hack game. Alright, Ledger Shredder, you're up! I feel like the uh, play with fire here is good, like right now, you know? We're getting rid of the fading hope so that they think we don't have it anymore. Alright. They need a removal here or whatever. If we draw land, I would be very darn happy about it. The Talia! Oh my, okay. Alright, yeah, that is that is alright. I like that. And uh, we're getting rid of the um, fading hope, actually. I mean, hey, that is just like not that useful right now. And they cannot be attacking in anymore. I like that a lot. I really do. And now our spells are less expensive again. Ain't that freaking beautiful. The answer is yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. Uh, we're discarding this, actually. I would like to have to shore up here. Another Ancestral Anger, super darn good. So they really need to find an answer here. They really do need to find it. The Refine. Well, that isn't an answer, to be honest. Not at all. Are you attacking in with anything here? With that and with that. Okay. I mean, that makes sense, you know. Those have Death Touch, so hey. But this has Death Touch. Yeah, but not this one. <laughs> Alright, they're getting in here for a seven. Yeah, that is so fun. That is so freaking fun with me. The consider. Another ancestral anger is freaking perfection here, my friends. Just freaking perfection, man. Uh, we're getting rid of the leer. We did draw land. That is amazing, man. That is actually freaking amazing. And yeah, I think that that is it, my friends. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, that is 19. Minus 4. We're not there yet. But they need to block here. That is uh, 9. They have 9 on the battlefield. But you know, we do have the... Uh, what does this do? Oops. Okay. But the shore up has won us the game. Yes, yes, the shore up was lethal. Shore up was lethal. But, you know, we can still block here, so that is still alright. That is still all I care about. They're cycling, that is super good. Okay, I, I missed lethal here. With the shore up, this would have gone to 10 plus another one on the ledger shredder, and we would have won. What you doing, Nilrak? What are you doing? They're attacking in with everything. Well, here comes the shore up. I'm blocking this sucker here. And we're good. We're freaking good. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I don't think that they have something. Oh, they don't. Okay, man, this is just disgusting. I missed lethal. Let me have it down in the comment section for that. But we still got him, man. We still freaking got him. Oh, oh, back in the 800s, man. I mean, how many games have we done now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we've won five out of seven with this disgusting deck. Call me Shaleen. I want my start. This was delicious. We have time for one last game here. We're up against who? 007. It's the ghost of James Bond or whatever. Okay, I'm in a double ledger shredder. Four lands means we, we are not too likely to find more lands. Oh, there is 69. Nice. I don't know why I dabbed here. There was literally no reason to dab. It wasn't my 69. Did the book just fly over there? Did you see that little panda? Did you see that? Okay. I went back to the panda because, you know, this raccoon here is just the best. Just the best. All right. We do have a shore up here now. That is super nice. I like it. Our Ledger Shredder will bring in some heat. We're just double Ledger Shreddering, you know? That is all we're doing here. Oh my, okay. Well, maybe we're also playing the Gin later. Maybe, we will see. But I feel like double Ledger Shredder is just better, you know? Inherently better. Are you five color humans? I mean, hey, you know, that is... <laughs> that is just disgusting. We're playing another Ledger Shredder here. We do have to shore up now. So that is alright, you know. 
And uh, maybe I am even playing the Jin here. I don't know yet. I really don't know yet. Our attacking in totally makes sense. That makes total freaking sense. I'm not blocking this. What am I, mad? This makes me think that the Jin is just the right answer here. We're passing the turn. So we're aggro versus aggro here, but I feel like we can outscale him. The Liza? What? What the heck, man? What? What? Okay. That is bad. <laughs> that is real bad. Okay. So we can block this sucker real good here. That is already something. Can we kill it, though? I don't think we can. And if it dies, you know, uh, the Liza will, like, be super freaking annoying for us. Super freaking annoying for us. So, we can go to uh, two, three. That isn't enough to destroy anything. Let's just impulse here first. Get another impulse. Why not, you know? Now we can block here like this. That is at least something, you know? So maybe we do find something good here. We're going for the impulse first. Ancestral anger is nice, I like that. Bringing on Mahari Jin here. Discarding the land, sadly. Now we are attacking with the Haughty Jin. They will not take the bait. Not at all. Not at all. That is still alright. Just see what they're doing here. We still have the shore up. We still have the uh, impulse here, you know. That is already pretty good. And I just hope that they don't put the counters on the Liza. Please don't put it on the Liza. Please don't. Ah, oh, they of course put it on the Liza. Of course. But we can get rid of it still, I feel like, you know. I still feel like we do have enough to get rid of it. We will be losing our thanks here, but maybe I just block with the Ledger Shredder, question mark. I cannot do that. I have to block with the Naughty Jin. have to. Lock with the Naughty Jim. Too much land! I mean, hey, that's a trade I'm not, like, so happy about, you know? Not at all, even. They got us real good here, I have to say. Like... We, we don't have anything here, you know. We're just dead in the water. Is what we are. Dead in the freaking water. Look at all the land, man. Look at all the land. Um, Fading Hope is very nice here, though. I like that a lot. And we're chilling. Getting rid of you here. Why the heck not, you know? This Liza was brutal, man. This Liza was very darn brutal, man. Not gonna Liza about it. Not gonna freaking Liza about it. I don't know why I kept this. Well, maybe they're playing something else here. That is good. So we can discard this one. Okay. All right. I mean, hey, all the life gain here is pretty darn brutal. Pretty darn freaking brutal. Okay. We cannot attack in. I mean, we're super dead here anyways. That is all there is to... <laughs> this deck is nice, though. I have to say, I don't even mind losing to it too much, you know. 
a little bit, but not too much. So we will see how much they get here. I mean, we're dead anyways, no matter how we block here. <laughs> oh my god, good game my friend, good freaking game. Now watch me have a removal here even. Uh, no they don't, okay, so we block these two, we're dead, we block this here and this here, we're still exactly freaking dead. So yeah, it doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter, let heaven the hit, it's okay, it's alright. We tried our best. We tried our best, but it was exact freaking lethal here. Eliza, that was nasty. That was really darn nasty. But hey, I like the deck. What they did was pretty darn good. So I'm very happy. I'm very happy. Lost against a cool deck. Holy sweet Jesus. This deck is so freaking fun. I must say. I know, I know. A lot of people already hate the gin, you know, uh, because of the mono blue list that CGP put out. And I have to say, and I say it every single time in my videos, when we encounter this list, it is pretty darn strong. It is a very, very good list, I have to say. It is nothing to freaking scoff at. But this list was also pretty good, I have to say. You know, uh, if you have like more card draw and everything, you can just outvalue them. It is really hard to do, but you can do so if you really freaking want to. And that is what we do want to do with our freaking deck. Just, you know, get in for the last bit of damage, just be smart and just be very darn aggressive. Would I cut anything? If I could cut something, it would be the Leer. Put in more, I don't know, maybe more burn spells. Who knows? Maybe instead of the Leer, put in one more Fading Hope and one Shore Up. Maybe. Or two more Ledger Shredders. Could also be an answer. You know? But I thought that maybe the Leer would be fun. But it never came up. Either when they were dead already or we had no freaking chance of playing it. Because we were dead already. <laughs> so, I mean, that one game that we lost, we lost it pretty darn freaking hard but for the rest we had a lot of fun hey we climbed up our ranks really darn efficiently so i want to say thank you to each and every one that is still here and if you are still here hey put a little naughty malone down below in the comments i would appreciate it very freaking much to see who is still here and yes there will be a test tomorrow <laughs> and hey i also want to thank you thank all my patrons members to make the show here possible and keep the lights on here and ice head on here at mtg malone's there's so many things i could never do with all of you and if you want to support the channel directly you can just check out the patreon and the membership there's a button and a link below every single freaking video and hey if you don't have any hard and cash share just you know share the video with your friends leave a like and put down a little comment. I would appreciate it very freaking much. And remember that if you're waking up tomorrow morning and you see that beautiful, beautiful face of yours in the mirror, that all of you are pretty freaking sweet. I'm Max Malone, and I will see you all tomorrow.